And so the old Roman saddle will go pudump. Down it goes. Fantastic. I've got the horses that are going to be worked. The road is now immediately here. And I'm going to get the builder in. We're going to displease the Ottomans right from turn one. But that's fine. I've also got two profit points coming in per turn on my religion, which is great. I'm just going to do a holy side prayers, which will get me a load of faith. And it'll get me a load of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, fair, great profit points. That's what I'm looking for. It'll push me through Ravenna. Oh, well, honestly, you're just a terrible city. You're just a terrible, terrible city. I could, I could rush the holy site, which wouldn't be a bad move, but actually I'd rather get a builder in to improve all of these tiles. And Rome now needs to build a slinger or two, because if I don't, I'm going to die very quickly. You can see, look, we've already got halfway to a religion, which is good. It's all about speed in the early game. So can you see already Rome has got full, uh, Ravenna has got full loyalty because of the monument. The extra monument is fantastic and also means my settlers now have a lot more flexibility with where they settle. But you can see between the city states, I haven't got much space here to be doing anything. I'm going to have to stick a city over in this direction. I, I don't have much space at all. I, do you remember I said eight cities? Yeah, we're going to war. It's the only way we can get through this, I think. Unfortunately, we're going to have to fight the Ottomans for everything they've got. In order to fight the Ottomans, we're going to have to get dirty. And we're going to have to get that religion in nice and quickly. Now, it's going to take six turns to get a religion. I can rush it with Holy Sight or I can get a satellite. And by the time the religion's up and running, it'll be mine. It's colonial colonialization, the settler card, is a really good one. We're going to keep uh, discipline just for now. That's good, but early empire is now ours. Now, do I, do I rush uh, drama and poetry? Seven turns for that. Yes, yes I do. I want to get that as quickly as I can. And governor appointment now. Ah, oh, it's really annoyingly Ravina is losing loyalty, but it's fine. It's fine. I can get this. So we've got Magnus. We'll appoint Magnus in Rome. That's fantastic. Oh, it's only minus one. That's fine. Rome will grow in a little bit. Magnus, ah, oh, that's really annoying actually because I'm not going to have provisions, so I'm going to lose the population. It's going to take five turns. You know what, I'm actually going to move to state workforce first. So instead of getting the settler, I just want to delay that by two turns that I've got provision in before I work. Should we get the shrine in? Or should I get a builder in? I've got a few tiles that need improving. So let's get a builder in. Yeah, let's get a builder in. What does Solomon actually want? Lawgiver keeps his citizens happy and loyal. Oh. Well, there you go. So he likes loyalty and my loyalty is pretty bad. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Come on, Sad Scout. I have you trapped. Die. Die, you stupid Scout. Which way are you going to go now? Grievances. Oh my god, he declared war against Mahanja Dere. Oh, you... Yeah, the Ottomans are going to really wind me up this game. We're going to have to kill them. We're going to have to kill them drastically. It's a good thing I'm going down bronze working because bronze working leads to Legion. And Legion are going to be the smashing troops that I need to get through them. They are so powerful. Oh, for God's sake, now it's producing barbarian horse archers. Oh, right, fine. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> hate barbarians. I really do. All right, let's just get this settler done. Hey, how it flashes to say, oh, you're not going to reach it. There's still 10 turns left. Loads of time. Right. Found the religion. Good. Good, 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 good. Religion's going. Religion is unfortunately down next to this barbarian, but that's fine. We're just going to have to deal with that one. Um, we've got a new governor. We're going to promote you to provision. There we go. That is done. Ah, uh, that means when the settler is done, it won't take population away from Rome. Fantastic. Let's now finish off drama and poetry. Um, we can start getting some culture in, and we just need to get legion in. Your delegation is not open to visitors, Ottomans. I'm not going to give you that diplomatic visibility, you fools. Again, they've done that silly thing, the barbarian archers. Uh, I can get Garrison, upgrade these guys now, and I can start the sling attack back. You will die. Oh, God damn it, I hate barbarians. They are so annoying. 
we are creatures of habit we're gonna go earth and run and as i say it's it's we need to think carefully about this jesuit education is not going to be something important but reliquies give me triple yield of faith and tourism i never normally get this one but because i've got a relic it gives me 24 tourism from each relic that's 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 really 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 good and then we're gonna get crusade found this religion done right let's get the missionaries down and spreading to the ottoman territories because i am sick of their stuff already i did need to build a shrine quickly though plus 10 power from garrison is just redonkulous bam in one go now let's see if my scout can't find that encampment that we go spearman on it Ugh. god damn it i hate a spearman encampment they're annoying oh there is there's another city space here might have to put one there but we'll go for oh as much as i hate this city because it's pointlessly bad we're gonna have to do it just so that the ottomans don't expand further and to get our road links up as much as we can as well it's it is a good thing it's a good thing keep telling yourself that ryan it is a good thing no oh, look at that just leaving your encampment unguarded i know you're being annoying I'm, i know there's a scout that's just about to run away but the spearman is going down it's the last thing i do Oh, I found a slightly better spot. There's a coastal bit here with two iron. Yes. That's exactly what I need. That's that's really good because I need the iron for the legion as soon as possible. So let's let's move it over to that direction. I oh god damn it, I hate barbarians. Have I ever told you how much I hate barbarians? I really do. Anyway, I've got two missionaries up and running. I'm just gonna quickly stop by convert Ravenna. Uh, and after that point, I'm gonna go straight to the Ottomans, go and explore them and uh convert them to crusade i've got warriors and slingers being produced everywhere i should have about six warriors and slingers and then i'll produce a couple of legion afterwards and the legion are just going to march down oh good scotland meets me just in time to see me killing the ottomans never mind never mind drama and poetry has been finished fantastic so we need to think about doing this i realistically need to get rid of that stone first so before building the theater square i'm going to get the builder to quickly come and take it apart these slingers are looking pretty healthy now this one is looking dead you heal that's fine uh let's bring these missionaries down get you to still be coming down we'll go get spread our religion that's fantastic there we go down you come actually this this relics thing 12 faith per turn that's really good so now i've got drama and poetry there's nothing stopping us getting political philosophy can you hear the alarm oh it's gone now god that thing is annoying why does it keep going off why 100 daro is still alive it's a good thing that means the ottoman's army is probably not as strong as i was worrying about let's have a look domination victory robert the bruce ottomans have got 117 and i've got 83 i haven't really built anything particularly yet so that's an encouraging sign the ottomans are now getting two great profit points per turn i think it's because yeah look there's this city here has a shrine in it that city is the one that's going to have to go down first that's going to be our first victim because if not oh i have a feeling they're going to they're going to be able to get a religion up before we can spread our good stuff to them fine okay well it is what it is let's get slingers in saving up my gold to be able to convert all the slingers to archers is the most important thing in that particular one um Aratim. i bought this tile here the horses just so it can grow a little bit look at that already my religion is spreading and converting let's go and uh let's just go and make sure it does it. here's the first target right this city this is the one that's being is producing all of the uh faith so there we go already we've converted this to our religion we've got our, our troops are sort of now on the borders and ready to go uh, slingers aren't exactly the best fighting force i i get that but with crusade with crusade they are a little bit less useless um in fact actually i'm gonna have to move this warrior in i might have to get you upgraded in fact actually let's stick stick to my borders as much as it pains me i'll bring you actually we'll keep you there i'm not going to be able to afford two legion upgrades um let's get rid of this wonderful we're just producing another settle with the excess production we'll get rid of that improvement and then we'll harvest that stone ah just in time for exodus of the evangelists wonderful now they can celebrate the fact that my religion is everywhere here we go iron working fantastic now 
Legion, 75 gold, 5 iron. That's a decent upgrade, actually. I can get both of my warriors upgraded instantaneously. How much is a sling? I don't know the sling upgrade yet. Let's do that quickly. Let's get archery. We're getting some gold in. I just sold all my horses to Scotland because I've got loads of horses coming in. In fact, actually, let's just see, see what more I can sell them because they are good allies to me so far. Now, unfortunately, I can't sell them anything else because I need my iron. That's okay. Scotland are just providing the gold to me at the moment. Requires five iron. Oh, I could build a new one, but there's no point at this precise moment. The Jebel Barkle is a fantastic building. Let's just let's build the theatre square. Come on. I do have a culture game on our hands. I know we're going for an immediate aggressive start, but I've actually got 32, <laughs> 32 tourism coming in for turn at the moment just from this. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And I keep checking in. Nobody's getting great writers at the moment. That's the important thing. Interestingly, well, as well, Ottomans have gone classical republics. I might go oligarchy so that I can get the combat boost against them. Oh, just as I was... Mahanjadar is now being sieged. Come on, you've got to hold out like two turns here. No, they're not going to hold out two turns. Damn it, Ottomans. They are good allies. Why? Why are you killing them? Never mind. Here we go. All land melee get plus four combat strength. It's a good one, this one. Really, really good. Right, the Settlers, uh, I already switched to a Kogi. I'm just going to switch now to Urban Planning, just to give a little bit more production everywhere. We're going to get some great writer points per turn. That's a good one to do. Uh, and then we'll go for plus two points towards city-states. We'll build up those envoys. We're going to take Mahanjadero back from the Ottomans, which will essentially liberate them into my service, which is a good thing. Uh, other than that, we're just getting ready for this attack. Unfortunately, just as I'm about to attack, the Ottomans are going to get a new religion. It's, it's really, really annoying, but <laughs> there's not much I can do about that one, unfortunately. <sighs> Never mind. Anyway, we're going to just attack them now, whilst we've got two legions. Fantastic. Uh, declare surprise war. Unfortunately for you, you've just taken my friend. That city-state. I mean, in the longer run, it'll it'll put it through in a good place for us because we're going to get loads and loads of additional um, envoys with them just purely for the, because of it. And also, I've now got two legions in which... Uh, oh, I don't know. One of my legions has got a missionary behind it, which is really, really good. Uh, Cardiff, I don't need to rush you. You are not a decent city-state to rush. Uh, just two turns of masonry. I did that thing where I left the builder there and he's just been sat there this whole time like a like a spoon. Not being able to do anything. Well, never mind. What are you going to do? Uh, have we got enough to make another legion? No, we don't, unfortunately, at the moment. I can make another archer, but nah. Got it. I just want the theatre square. Just want the theatre square. I get a trader going. In terms of civics, uh, the classical game civics are all fairly standard. We're not rushing recorded history because our campuses are, don't exist. Theology isn't too important for us, but the extra envoy is always fun. Feudalism is going to be the best one to go for here. Uh, the extra two builds on builders is, is fantastic. Uh, city losing loyalty. Which one? Athena. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Rebellion in 222 turns. I don't know why that's a thing. We'll ignore that. We'll ignore that for now. Um, here's my other city. You see, look, it's all coming along. Apart from this, we've got four cities up. We're expanding faster than the Ottomans, even though they are proving to be a little bit of a thorn in my side at the moment. Right, if ever you needed to know how powerful Legion were, one, two. I've almost taken this city in one go. They are so ridiculously strong. I, I, I... There's just no, there's just no point even worrying about it. This is this is just an advantage of playing Rome in the early game. The Legion, if you can get them quickly enough, just brilliant, just absolutely brilliant. And this missionary is just hanging around, just making sure nobody converts to a new Ottoman religion. I'm pretty sure they won't, but you never know. You can never be too careful. Oh, finally got masonry. I get rid of that stone. Good. You've you can come join the fight. I don't need another archer. I don't entirely know why I bought it. It's a bit stupid, but anyway, there's the square. Down it goes. Plonk. Scotland don't like the fact that I'm warring on my doorstep. That's fine. You know what? It'll be, it'll be, it'll be done soon. They, you know, you'll never know. And oh, a hundred year, a thousand year flood. Just to improve the area around my new city. Oh, how polite of it. How, how considerate of it. Anyway, it's ours now. 
keep the city. Am I going to keep it 17 turns? That's more than enough time. Thank you very much for retaining that for me. I've actually saved up 40 gold as well. Let's get another, another slinger upgrade whilst I'm at it. Wow, that's strong. <laughs> 109 damage with one hit. That's good. That's uh, It's so good that I've naturally got time to bring all my archers into play. And uh, I can't even attack that heavy chariot. Never mind. I thought I would be able to. It's all good. It's all good. Let's just kill these barbarian scouts. See, I'm actually cleaning up the Ottomans' territory for them. I'm doing them a service. That's what I think. 